if you don't have at least one inch of new growth, do not attempt to interlock. Like, Hello everybody, this is Tania Locks and Life. Thank you so much and God bless you for clicking on today's video. So today's video is going to be uh, a quick video, very quick video, talking about the difference between the four point versus the two point. Uh, I really, I'm just gonna give my opinion because I've been interlocking for over five years at this point and I am a semi-free former. Some people consider I guess interlockers, no matter how long, if you leave your hair, you know, without retightening for six months, seven months, eight months, you're still not a semi-free former. But I've been calling myself a semi-free former for over five years. So your girl's a semi-free former, okay? But yeah, at any rate, today we're going to be talking about some differences and just my opinion on these two techniques if you are interested in other lock content please check out the description box below i talk about some of everything when it comes to lock maintenance moisturization um having thin locks having 4c locks you know just a lot of different stuff so check it out in the description box below when it comes down to the aesthetic of a lock that's been tightened using the two-point rotation versus the four-point rotation I really don't think that there's a major difference. Like there's not a difference. Cause I, when I was interlocking my locks using the four point rotation, because that's the rotation I used, I did notice that when you're using the four point rotation, it is slightly, just a slightly tad tighter because it, this is my theory, because you're tightening the roots from four different points. It's like cinching in the new growth from four different points. So it's, it's pulling in the hair from more direction so it's going to be more compact versus the two point rotation where you're just tightening the roots from two different points so like that's just my theory but when it comes down to like the actual look of the lock shaft over time like i i don't i haven't seen a difference in my lock shaft it probably been interlocking with the two point rotation for i would say six months at this point i would say you really can't see a difference. I'd probably say from this point up, I've been interlocking with the two point rotation and then this is the four point. All of this is like until about right here because this is when I started my locks. So this part is two point rotation. And I would say from this this point with my fingers right here to this point is four point. You do not really see a difference. Like I don't see a difference. Interlocking is going to give you a more compact shaft no matter what technique, okay? So when it comes down to like the safety aspects of interlocking, I think that any retightening technique can be unsafe if you don't do it the right way. But I, if I was trying to be on the safer side and I had to choose between the two point versus the four point, I would probably go with the two point, especially if I was a newer interlocker because you, you don't have to remember going to new growth for two times and you know it's just less room for error when it comes down to the four point rotation you have to remember which way you went north south east west and like it's just a lot of room for error so if i was a newer interlocker i would start with the two point rotation another thing is like if you're using a safety pin method and you are interlocking and you're using a four point rotation you are doubling your um new growth chance of snagging if you do the four point rotation versus the two point so that's just my opinion. When it comes down to interlocking in general, I didn't, didn't mention this in my last video, but if you don't have at least one inch of new growth, do not attempt to interlock. Like, don't attempt to interlock. Like, you are really setting yourself up for thinning over time. If, you, if you're trying to interlock every two weeks, don't interlock every two weeks, please. No. You are really setting yourself up. Like, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next video.